as a softball coach, um, I think the first thing that I need to do is really do a good job establishing a, an offensive strategy, um, putting in an offensive game plan, putting in the offense that, that I want to run to be successful. So that takes time. Uh, sometimes the evolution uh, of an offense um, could sometimes take up to three years. Um, but I think once you get it implemented the correct way, and once you get the groundworks in, uh, that offensive strategy is is going gonna, is gonna to get better. We know in softball that uh, you have to have uh, a top-notch pitcher to be successful, but that top-notch pitcher needs an offense behind them. So that's how I build things, uh, build it off an offense, and from there have a strategy that's in place that's going to help us win a lot of ball games. Um, you know, from that point, obviously you have to have a defensive strategy. Know your personnel. Know what your shortstop can and can't cover. Know what your catcher can and can't do. Know what your pitcher can and can't do. So a defensive strategy um, obviously can be broken into a lot of different categories, um, but having a good defensive strategy. And, and, and to me, as a coach, you don't have to tell your players what they're deficient in. They know, um, but if they don't know, you have certain defenses that are going to be in place to help them um, you know, get by. If they're not very good at covering the slap and the steal, uh, then maybe move your second baseman into coverage and, and just rotate your defense around. So I think, again, knowing your personnel as the coach is, is really, really important um, before you can implement the, the proper offense and defensive uh, strategy.